Most people know what a combine looks like, but how does it work? Well, starting with the header, you've got knives here, these move backwards and forwards between the fingers, cut the crop, the corkscrew like auger thing in the middle moves the crop to the middle of the combine, sends it up the front, then you've got a reel on the front of the header as well, which you use to move up and down the forwards or in and out to feed the crop into the combine. The crop then goes up to the front, into the drum, you've got the drum in the middle there that spins, just here, that's going that way, round the crop, the crop comes in, moves round and up here. The, the drum in the middle forces the crop against these bars in here, which threshes it out. You can change the gap of the concave just there from the cab. The closer you put it together and as fast as you move the drum, the, the more threshing you get, and the more likely you are to damage the crop. The grain and small bits of chaff and things fall through these bars here, onto the grain pan, and then onto the sieves, move up to the sieves as they shake at the back, and the straw goes over the top onto those little raspy bars and onto the straw walkers. Moving to the back of the combine, here's the sieves, two layers of sieves, so you've got a top set and a bottom set. And basically air is blown through these sieves, again change the amount of air that comes through, and that blows the light chaff and bits and pieces of crop or pods if you've got peas and beans and things and right up into the air and cleans the crop. The crop falls through onto the bottom sieve. It's then sieved and sorted again, which is where it's run a bit smaller, and then goes into the grain tank. Anything that goes over the bottom sieve and doesn't go through the sieve returns to the returns auger and goes back to the front of the drum and starts over again. Anything that comes over the back, here's a sensor. We'll talk about that in a minute. That detects where the grain's going if you're losing grain over the back. Chaff and bits and pieces go into the spreader and spread across the field, nice and evenly hopefully. And moving up to the top of the combine, got a diesel tank, engine, and then the straw walkers which we saw a minute ago. The drums somewhere down the front there. And this shakes back, these shake backwards and forwards and shake any grain that's left in the straw after it's come out of the drum, out hopefully, which falls through the holes in the straw walkers slides down them and lands at the front of the sieves and goes over the sieves in the same process we just talked about. Straw then falls over the end there. And depending on if you want to keep the straw for livestock, puts it into a row like you can see there. By moving this flap, it comes over the back, runs down the flap here and onto the floor. If you flip the flap over, change a gear and a clutch thing the other side, then the straw chopper in here, which is put into gear and that spins chops the straw up as it comes out, and then these veins spread it across the field. Once the grain and has been sorted out in the sieves and the straw walkers, it returns, goes to a clean grain elevator, which moves it up the combine, which comes out of that little auger over there. And that fills the grain tank. On this one, it's about four and a half, five tons of wheat. When that's full, there's a sensor in the tank that tells the driver he can then put the auger out, like that, turn it on, fill the grain trailer up, that can go back to store then, and be sorted out there. That's essentially the main parts of the combine. Um, here's a cab, obviously where the driver sits. This one's fitted with a, an extra addition, aftermarket thing, with an electric motor on the steering wheel, and a touchscreen display run from the GPS receiver on the roof. Uh, that steers the combine for the driver so that he's always cutting a full width and just has to concentrate on the forward speed and the settings and bits and pieces of the combine. The uh, sensors that we looked at in the back of the combine show up on here. There's one on the straw walkers as well. And you use you set the sensitivity on here depending on how much you want to be able to see coming over the back. Try and run it in the green and that just shows you how much grain is being lost over the back of the sieves, it's not being sorted out. Normally you've got to either change a few settings things to change that, open the sieves up, or slow down is probably the biggest thing. Um, then you've got a few little dials down here that change bits and pieces on the header. The main control, forward, backwards, up and down to the header, up and down to the reel. Um, and that's it basically, apart from a, some common ones have got a yield monitor. It just shows you what the crop's doing, what's going through the combine, how much you're cutting, how fast you're going, and bits and pieces like that. And obviously, just warning lights. Essentially, that's a combine.